Good morning. So today I want to show you something pretty cool. We got the old building on this end of the school. That was the first part of the building built. And then over the years, they built all these additions. So that was in 2006, 2000, listen to me. That's 1916. Then they built these additions. And then in 2016, the last addition where the wood shop is. I want to show you something interesting. So this here is the old part of the building. You can see here it's written 1916. I want to show you something on the front. So this part of the building was built over a hundred years ago. Check out the front. You got the doors, you got the center window, we got three at the top. All this nice trim work around this window and then a green copper guttering up the top. Now when they built the new wing, they matched this. Check it out. So this is the new addition you can see right there. 2016, a hundred years after the original school, they built this. The wood shop's down in the basement. But look at the front of this thing. So the front of the new wing matches the same one. They scanned that one to make it match. Got all the carvings around the window, same window, three windows, and then all the guttering at the top. But what they did was they matched the style, but the technology that they used to develop it, to create it, was totally different. So all these are not stone, that's fiberglass. I got to see it before they put it up there. They scanned the old models using a CNC router, made the mold, and then with fiberglass shaped the trim, but it looks just like stone. So this is the point. It's the same style, the same design, but what they did a hundred years ago clearly had some problems with time or material, and they found more efficient ways to do it, better ways to do it, less expensive ways to do it, and they made the same style, same design on this building as they did the original to match it. They didn't have to do it exactly the same way. We can constantly work at improving our process. Even the tools they had for this, they had, those tools weren't available then. So people engineered these tools and then they thought maybe we can use that tool to improve this process. So check out the module. We're gonna talk about the design loop today. 